This is a table full of nanobox. A whole box full of plastic packaging, four tubs full of spare pieces, and this is me after 50 hours of building. And before I go over everything behind me, make sure you smash the like button and just, just subscribe. Just subscribe. Just do it! <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Okay, so. Here we are. This is the reason you clicked on the video. I'm finally showing. <laughs> finally showing. Whole table full of nanoblock. It looks very cool. Uh, over this end, we have all the buildings and landmarks. Uh, we have display arms there. We have Santa because he's just in a realm of his own. We have the wedding sets, absolute garbage. We have the Pokemon. Here we have My Hero Academia, followed by Crash Bandicoot, followed by Halloween, followed by two dinosaurs, followed by the animals on this corner. Then we have instruments, which is just a drum set. We have food in the middle here, and we have vehicles and transportation. A lot of good stuff on this table, and a, not a lot of bad stuff, just some just garbage. Weddings, garbage, Kawada didn't even want to make them properly because they knew how bad they were. Like this one, she has one arm, a bride with one arm, one hand, not one arm. Her arm is scuffed and I couldn't fit her second hand in. And the, the other wedding set came with a broken piece. So that's that's great. I've never had that problem before with the nanobox sets, but you know, just because it's a garbage set, Kawada knows. Uh, great sets though would be this hot dog Pretty good set except it looks like a bit of a carrot instead of a, a hot dog uh, Yakitori hence why I have four of them just Incredible pieces like every piece on this set is is basically just a Good piece to have in any nanoblock collection. I really like the Brinocchiosaurus, if that's how you say it. Hopefully it is. The motorbike, an absolute pain to make. The hardest thing I've ever put together. But uh, it is it is quite beautiful. I would probably change the color. I'm not, not really liking the color that they went with, but it is the color that they went with. Speaking of color, this is a perfect model, a perfect set. It just, it just, it just is. You can't change anything about this. You can't make this any better. Look, even the lights catching on. It's like sha ching, shing shing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't change this. This is, this is a perfect set. Even the way, then uh, you put it together, is just fun. The colors fun. It's. All just fun, very, very well made. Another very, very well made set is the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It is just a very, very nice, pleasing set to look at. The nice colors. It is nanoid scale accurate. Uh, it is a very simple build, but it is a very pleasing build to look at and very accurate. And they even did some texturing on the pavement, which shows that that person is a good designer. I don't know how else to say it right now. Uh, the Sagrada Familia Deluxe Edition, very nice set, lots going on, very crazy looking. So is this one. Uh, both of them are, are not accurate to the actual thing, and these are both finished. What well, what the what it will look like when it's finished in twenty twenty six. 
Uh, Pokemon. I'll come around this side. Pokemon are all very, very decent sets. There's no, there's no difference between the the Pokemon sets, in my opinion. With the um, ah, uh, what's the word? There's not a bad Pokemon set from the ones that I got. They're all, they're all not not crazy, but they're not garbage. They're just good, well-rounded models. They've all got their own style going for them and their own aesthetic going for them. My Hero Academia sets are very cool just for their dynamic posing. I haven't seen a other Nanobox series that has gone for such dynamic posing. Uh, the Crash Bandicoot range, uh, a lot of them just want to kill themselves, especially this guy and Coco. <laughs> Uh, Halloween, there's not much to say apart from the the witch is definitely a favorite and the zombie. Uh, this is half a set because you just repeat the same thing twice. Uh, so that was hilarious to find out. Uh, Persian cat, pony, very very old giraffe, flamingo being held by one one pin, one one stud. The deer, uh, the deer also want to just crumble in your in your hands, at least in mine. Uh, but a very, very nice looking set. Ah, another another garbage set is the lollipops here. Not only would nobody buy them, because why would you want to get this set apart from the colours, but they don't stand up very well because. That's all that's holding them up. That's their base. So, they're very easy to knock over, and I'm not even going to fix that. Pirate ship, very fun set. The big boys, apart from the Sagrada Familia, Dogs Edition, are Sydney Harbour Bridge, New York, Tokyo, and the Slosh Neusvenstein Castle which I'm still learning to pronounce, but I'm pretty sure that is correct. And uh, what a sight. What a sight that castle is. Compared to everything else on the table, that's, that's where your eyes are drawn to. <laughs> it all kind of leads up to that in the background. And it is a very impressive set, and it does dwarf everything around it. I chose to get the clear version of it just because I thought it'd be more interesting to have clear pieces in my collection rather than all just a bunch of white since I already have a lot of white anyway. That has to be a favourite set on the table and just because it lights up. I think Kawada have this thing or Nanobok have this thing where the more LED base plates you can fit in a set the cooler it is like that's a, a ranking system for them like this one this one can fit one this one they were like nah 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 we'll put three we'll, we'll up the game we'll put three in this one so not not that either of those places would be having crazy disco parties like the lights kind of reflect in the sets but it is a cool addition uh, the city sets I am not a fan of. They are very pricey for what they are worth. Uh, the New York just looks better to me with the just uh, I don't know the, the buildings look more interesting to me than than in Tokyo. Tokyo it, it's all a bit gray. All a bit gray in Tokyo. Whereas New York, it has more, more pointy stuff and a little bit more green and just a little bit more interest than just grey. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. I really like the pancakes. That's a really good set. Um, 
sushi. Don't get this. It has loose pieces. If you make a set with loose pieces, I'm not going to like it. Apart from some exceptions. Apart from some exceptions. But otherwise, I'm, I'm not going to not gonna like your set. But uh, yeah, that, that wraps up everything. That was a lot of building. The total value of all of this is, I can see if I can remember the price still, $2,172.30. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> Now I now I have the joys of of uh, taking this all apart and putting it into my collection and organizing it. So that's the next step. And uh, yeah, this is very cool to see. Okay, here's a fun bonus. I've got this box of plastic bags that I've saved from all the sets. Uh, let's see if uh, if it survives. <laughs> I definitely knocked something over. <laughs> oh no, it was Charizard. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. <sighs> well. That's what that looks like. Pikachu's still there. Everybody gets a bag. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, yes, I've got my time lapse video out if you would like to see the time lapse of all this and the Slosh Neusfenstein Castle time lapse and video should be coming out soon as well. So stay tuned. Thank you.